Hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're going to be playing some Factorio today again. Um, Bobby may be joining us uh, later, hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if he's actually around tonight. He did not respond to my text message, so we'll see. Um... I'm all set up for him if he does join us, so hopefully that'll be happening. Um, if not, we'll just we'll we'll play on our own. We don't we don't need him. Um, next week we're probably going to be playing. We'll probably continue playing Factorio uh, later on on other streams as well. But I, I'm hoping to start something slightly different, maybe some Elite Dangerous um, next week. I just need to I need to get the update going. I need to get my joystick reconfigured. Um, I need to get Bobby to get the update gr going. And um, yeah, so why don't we just uh, why don't we just get started here into some Factorio? Let me go ahead and unpause the game. All right, let's let's get going with some Factorio here. Um, so I'm not entirely sure where we left off. Last time, I actually need to turn the sound up here. I forgot that I uh, I have to turn that way down when um, we are uh, when I'm, I'm recording the let's play of this. Um, so we got some research done here. Let's take a look at this. Um, this is gonna allow for robots. We need actually we need. We need this guy, so we might as well go ahead and do that. My webcam is looking super, like, orange today. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe, I wonder if it's my shirt, like, messing with the webcam. I don't really know. Um, right, so, let's get going. If you see me looking off to the right here, it's, that's because that's where the preview screen is and chat's over here and all sorts of stuff. It feels weird because I've got the camera on the left side of the screen you know what? Let's just let's put the camera on the right side of the screen. So that way, if I'm looking this way, it it doesn't look like I'm looking off the side of the screen. I don't I don't know. Anyways, um, all right. Let's um. You don't need to see what guns I've got, anyways, right? Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't seem necessary. Um. Okay. So I think last time. Like, the last thing we did here was we ramped up um, the green circuit production here. We seem to be missing a belt here. Um, so I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to set up some red circuits. So red circuits are going to need plastic, um, copper cable... And plastic, copper cable, and uh, electronic circuits, they take eight seconds to make. Um, each green second takes, circuit takes half a second to make. So I think what we'll do is we're going to produce these. I think we'll produce these in fairly low quantities for the moment. Um, so let's do one, two, three, four. Four, five. Let's do five assembly machines worth of these. Um, maybe six. Let's do six. All right. So what we're gonna need? We're gonna need blue assembly machines. I thought I set. Oh, I did. I did set these up. Uh, that's why our iron is kind of not in a great position. So let's grab some of those out of here. Um, right, so we need to bring plastic down. So what are what are our ratios here on the red circuits? Two electronic circuits, two plastic, four copper cable. So what I'm thinking is plastic and electronic circuits onto the same belt for this limited circumstance situation here. Um, so let's remove this one for just a second. This is going to go here. 
Um, okay, and then this is gonna come here and probably go like this. Um, and then like so. Okay, now we'll need to not in line here. Okay, let's move this down one more so that it this whole thing is in line here. All right. Um, and then we go this way. Yep. Okay, so that should put these two on the same line. Um, okay, and then this is where things get a little bit tricky. Um, actually kind of very tricky. So we're going to actually need to, we're going to need to squeeze, um, we're going to need to squeeze the copper cable through first, I think. Um, right, so copper cable has to go here, and then, so we're going to say that this is here, like so, um, and then it's going to turn, and we will have to go under there. All right, excellent. Um... So this is going to go here. Okay. And then there. Yep. There. Excellent. This actually will bring these all down pretty much exactly where we want them to be. Um, let's leave some room. I don't want to go directly in line here. Let's... um. Actually, there's probably enough room to do that. So let's do... Uh, how do we want to space this out? I think probably just one space in between each of these here. And we're just going to do five. We'll be able to, you know, we could put more on later. So these are going to come down like this. And these are gonna come like this. All right, so long-handed. Um, yeah, something like this. And we can probably just do this. All right, and then power lines, power lines, power lines. Awesome. Um, actually, these probably don't need to be fast inserters either. This will be the output which will go on to a belt, preferably. There we go. Awesome. Um, and then we will, no, nope, just give me that splitter, please. Thank you. Okay, now we just need to actually tap this into the power like so. Um, and then let's hook this stuff up here. So like that, um, like this, and like this. That could be a problem. Um, actually, I think we can 
we can actually solve that problem. Get rid of these and do, oh no, we're out. What do I, what do I need? I need iron plates. There we go. I really should set up automation for these. So that'll go to there. And we'll have to pick that up and then we should be able to just bring this through. There we go. Excellent. Um, let's bring all of our lines down here if we can. Um, I don't really want to pick that up. All right, so let's see here. Um, so this is this guy. I'm not even entirely sure we need to continue those inserters on. Um, we'll see, I guess. I'm not sure that there's anything else from this point onward that we're gonna need to automate that'll use those particular inserters. Okay, we're running out of stuff again. Just give me this. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Give me this so I can actually collect some of these without collecting other things. And we're working towards, right now we're working towards, well, obviously red circuits, but um, this is all for... Um, Actually, I can't remember for the life of me. Um, I think it's for uh, electric furnaces, among other things. Um, and electric furnaces, turrets, solar panels, laser turrets, I should say. Um, as there's you know a big difference there. Okay, let's, we'll bring that through, and then this should go here, here, here. Oh yeah, that line's for the coal, if we need it. We may not need it. We could always put something else on it um, later. Okay, so we brought all of that through. Um, so this guy goes like this which means this guy is gonna come here and then like that. All right, so let's take this, um, click that, shift right click, and then we left click all of these. And that would be a start. Yep, that'll make Send everything working here. Um, honestly, given the number, of, given the number of circuits we're creating, I should probably turn this up like way faster. So this is eight seconds. So one assembly machine for green circuits can make sixteen in the amount of time that this takes to build. Um, this takes to build one. So we can actually, ooh, we can actually support a lot here, I think. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so let's go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, let's let's do that. So we just gotta slap down some more inserters. Um yeah. More inserters. Excellent. Uh we're running out of belt yet again. We should automate the um fast belt we should get that going 
We're gonna. Well, actually, I don't. I don't really want to get that going yet. Um, now that I think about it, because I would like to try and go directly to the blue fast belt. The, well, I don't know what that's actually called, but um, I don't really want to step through the red in, in particular. There we go. Extend that down. Let's come down here. 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 And then here. Then it should just be... Shift left click on these guys. There we go. Producing away. Awesome. Um, right. So, where are we at now? What are we doing now? What's next? Uh, let's check on our research here. Uh, we can do flight. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, what are we going to need to build these electric furnaces? So, each one of these is going to need 10 stone brick, 15 steel, and five advanced circuits. Um, and we need a ton of electric furnaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 12 times six. Um, that's like 72. Plus uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 80, 88, 96, 100, and four. So we need 104, which is a ton. It means we need like 500 advanced circuits. So let's um let's uh take this steel chest. Um let's put it right here. Um uh, actually let's put it right here. And then let's put this guy here. Facing this way. I don't actually know. I think these stack up to a hundred, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Let's stand here and find out. So if these stack up to a hundred, we're gonna need slightly more than 500. So we'll need slightly more than, yeah. So we're gonna need, actually they might stack up to 200. Let's start with three stacks. Um, and then let's set down a temporary, um, somewhere where there's steel. Do we have steel coming through anywhere? We certainly do. Um, here, and then we'll put a chest here and then here. Um, this way, this way, this way. This is just temporary. This is going to make electric furnaces. We're going to need like a thousand stone brick. Seems like a lot. Come up here where we got a whole bunch of stone brick building up at and um, go on from there. So these stack in 50. So. Yeah. Let's just grab all this. Oh, this is wall. This is not stone brick. Stone brick. 
Um, we aren't actually putting stone brick into a chest, are we? It's pretty unfortunate. Let's uh, let's do that. Okay, so we got some stone brick on us. Not a lot, but um, we got some. But at the moment, it would appear the copper cable belts are not fast enough. That is good to know. Um, so we're probably going to have to do something about that. Maybe we'll do that now. Yeah, so that stacks 200, so we'll tell it to hold three stacks for us. That should be more than enough. Um, let's come over wherever we set this up at. Uh, we can just dump the stone brick we do have, which is not, not going to be enough. Um, actually, we're going to need... One more chest here. I believe. Um, no, let's not put it there. Let's just go here then. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Let's come down here. So, let's grab all of this and then we'll actually just limit this back down to one stack now. And then we can just put this stuff in here. And that should just get to work making electric furnaces for us, ideally. Um, excellent. Okay, so what do we need to get this stuff going? Oh, that's nothing. We can, we can do that. That's just iron gear wheels. Iron gear wheels and regular belt. That is truly hardly anything. Um, so we've got regular belt here. Is there any way to get iron gear wheels over here without um, like disrupting everything here? In fact, that might be the only place we have regular belts split off of the assembly line here. Um, but I don't really want to actually, I really don't want to put it there. Um, so I guess we're just going to do another, another line here. Ah, oh, man, I really don't want to. What's the assembly time like on this? Point... Five. Hmm. And iron gear wheels are one every point five. So the assembly time would then be one second per thing. I don't really want to do that. Um, hmm. So, is there any... Nah, we'll just make this whole thing longer, I think. Um, let's go get some more... Um, let's go get some more of this stuff up here for that, uh, that machine down there. We'll just take all of that. Um, we might have some lying around too. We should. I should go check on that. We got all sorts of stuff all lying around all over the place here. And everything is still super backed up from this, so it's all working properly. Excellent. Um. It's good. That's what we want to see. That is definitely what we want to see. Okay, so let's um, uh, 
Yeah, I guess I didn't have anything up here. I thought I did. I guess not. Maybe it was down by the steel. Uh, there is a chest here. Nope. That's fine. Plastic is kind of backing up a little bit. Our sulfur is backed up. Our batteries are backed up. That's good. Good, good, good. That is what we want. Let's move this a little closer, maybe. Okay. Um, Where are we at? What am I doing? I'm just riding the belt. Uh, we're coming down here with the stone brick for our furnaces. There we go. One's 20. It's not enough. But it's some. Uh, we're just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to leave that at one stack and we're just going to let it go. Um, we may need later... Put these in there. That should be enough in theory. I don't know how long this stone brick is going to last, but... Okay, so we want to come down here. And somewhere in here, where it's easiest, we're going to bring iron gear wheels and belt. Oh, it's five iron gear wheels. Huh. That's a lot. Um, How many of these do I want? Um, I don't really want to bust these. Yeah, I, I really don't want to bust these. Uh, let's let's take a look at our research here. Let's see if we have the option to do the next level of logistics. Um, okay, so this is logistics. That's not actually what we want. Um, oh, no, 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 that's automation. Um, this is logistics. So that's actually blue science packs. But, um, yeah, okay, so these all use the previous level um, of thing. Which totally makes sense. Um Yeah, that, that, that totally, that completely makes sense. So I think what we'll do is we'll do like a micro bus in here, uh, I believe. Um, just kind of like mini, a mini setup. Um, so what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to bring gear wheels, and then we'll have um, these things only take, they only take two different things. So we're going to do, no, that's a little close. Let's um, hang on. We will go here. Is that lined up? Yeah, that's lined up there. Okay, so we're going to go here. Um, like this. I think. And then... What did I just do? I don't, I don't know what I just did. And then we're going to go... Here. Um, for the transport belt... Um, actually, so here's the thing. We need to make underground belts in this little mess here too, as well as these guys. Um, I 
Actually, I don't think it matters. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then I guess we will output onto this one. Um, yeah. Okay. So here, 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 here. And then I don't have any long-handed inserters, unfortunately. Um, am I making? I guess we're not actually making long-handed inserters anywhere. Weird. But there were just a whole bunch in that chat. I don't. I don't know. Um, so here and here, we'll have, to, we'll have to see how this is even gonna work. Um, we may need to put more inserters on this whole thing. So these are gonna make fast belts. Um, so we need to hook this up yet. Uh, all right, so we will need here um, and then here I think all right so this will come across and then this way this is gonna come here and then down to here And across this way. Yep, that'll work. So let's plug that in and we'll plug this in. Yeah, okay, so that's kind of what I thought that uh, these would be waiting. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, I think we're probably fine. All right. Well, there's that. Um, then these will lead into um, basically the blue production once we get them going of the fast belts. For the moment, I'm going to put a chest down here. And an inserter. And we're just going to limit this down to like four stacks. I think uh, until we get that blue research done. Um, so I think what else we're going to do right in here. Um, it's going to kind of ruin a little bit of. We're going to have to really extend out in this way some. Oh, I'm starting to see some aliens creeping in down there. Um so what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna we're gonna expand down this way and I'm gonna build we're gonna build I should say underground belts like in here followed by the splitters and then those splitters and underground belts will lead into producing red underground belts and splitters and those will lead into the blue ones um should be fine I would think Hopefully. All right. Well, there's a start there. We need to snag some of this, though. Because we did discover that we need to ramp up the speed here on this belt. Um, actually, probably this, just specifically this belt. Why did that not work? Okay, so we ramp that up. 
Um, we need 10 electronic circuits. Uh, I grabbed some copper wire there. I did not particularly want. Oh, we need a splitter, which means we need some iron. Here we go. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here that we have to actually ramp the speed up on, but we're gonna we're gonna do that. So this one. Uh, then we need a second one for here. Okay, now next step is this. And this. And then that. And then this. And I ran out. <laughs> um... So one of the things we'll be able to do, like if we start like outpacing this production line, um, one of the things we'll be able to do is we could like, we can like split off earlier and like feed this earlier kind of a thing. Um, but for the moment, it's not really gonna help us out all that much I don't think part of the problem is are these inserters always put onto the outside of the belt um, when we're actually consuming faster here um, then like this actually works this whole system works so let's uh, let's actually take and do do this. Yeah. Okay. Upgrade those. Um, so what is the what is the actual slowdown here? Um, one iron plate to three. Okay. So I I think I see what the problem is. Well, part of the problem is. So I think these all technically need one more. Um, yeah, I think they all technically need one more. I can I can speak one one more inserter. Um, but I think I can actually do that by so let's let's see if what we can do here if we get rid of that okay so those still function um rid of this one place that there those still function get rid of this guy get rid of this guy yep okay yep kind of cleaning this all up a little bit not much. It's kind of a rat's nest of power lines due to poor planning, mostly. Oh, I guess I'm standing in that space. There and then there. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now we can take and really kick this up even more by just coming through and placing these down but at this point I don't actually think it uh, matters anymore because we're backed up probably because the red circuits are probably backed up um, all right let's check on our electric furnaces see how things are going there Check that out. Um, oh, no, those aren't the electric furnaces. I um, don't think that was enough. It's enough to get started, at least. Um, let's head up this way and grab some more brick. Okay. 
got tons of brick over here. Or we should. Um, I'm just going to grab it all. I don't think we actually need it all. I should put that chest in between the... Um, the wall manufacturing factory thing. All right, let's let's uh, let's put this in here. There we go, we'll just let that go. Uh, we'll take these guys, and I think we will replace, we'll replace the stuff away up here first. Um, I think we also probably need to ramp up the gear wheels. Although they may just need um, some stuff swapped out here. Because these should make fairly quickly. Um, we have, well, we don't really have enough, um, yeah, I mean, we can definitely maximize some speed there if we, if we want to, um, okay, so to swap these out, this is where th everything gets a little bit interesting, um, I think we'll swap the copper first, yeah, um, Actually, we need to go get some inserters. Yeah, we're going to we're going to need inserters, uh, lots of inserters. Um, which are down here. So let's just grab we'll grab these extra ones and then like two stacks. That's probably not enough, but Oh yeah, just putting those fast inserts on there has made this actually go a lot faster. Um, why do I have green science packs in my inventory? That's not really helpful. Let's just put those in there. Okay, let's um, let's come over here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take. Uh, we're gonna pick this up and then we're going to place this oh you can't replace can't replace that huh interesting interesting okay so we're just gonna have to pick that up and then we're gonna place that there I guess um does that work? Pick this one up too. I guess that works. Uh, we'll have to remove these poles and we're gonna have to remove these. Um, yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's tear the Band-Aid off. Our inventory is going to so entirely fill up with copper. Oh, oh, that's, that's not ideal. Give me, give me, give me that cop. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Um, electric furnace. I forgot to remove the electric poles. Um, I, yeah, it, it fits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's the same number. Okay. Um, pick that stuff up. 
Um, place these guys down. Uh, I'm not sure the position to place these in if we're doing beacons, which we obviously will be doing beacons later, but uh, just not at the moment. Um, let's go down this side and we'll pick all of these up. Yep, and then uh, we'll do this. I have to put uh, electric poles down on both sides. Uh, well, the other thing we're gonna do is this. Steel chest there. Open the steel chest and we're gonna dump all of this stuff in there, well, most of it. Um, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with the coal later. Okay, so there, 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 and then there, and then on this side, it'll just match. There's probably a slightly more efficient way to do this. I would rather you be putting down over on the other side, but uh, I guess that's fine too, because this is all going to change in a moment. Um, I'm gonna put down this iron chest for now and put all this coal in here. I'm also going to put this into here. All right, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna pick all of this stuff up. And our inventory is gonna get full of junk. But that's fine. Doesn't really matter. I mean it matters, but it, it doesn't matter. Should have found a better way to place these electric poles from the beginning so that we wouldn't have to do all of this unfortunateness. Okay, electric furnaces again there. And then we just do that. All right, and then we can just swap these guys out. I don't think it really matters whether they're in the middle or not. And then on this side, we just go down the middle. The middle ones are gonna already have power. The furnaces already have power. Uh, we're just going to need to power the outer edge here. And then we basically just have um, semi-permanent uh, unneeded lines of coal. Yeah, anyways. Um, now we just need to do the same thing with the iron here, which seems to have mostly backed up again. Shouldn't it be a big deal? Um, I think I might do this side a little differently. I think we might. Um, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna do this side any differently. Actually, no, we are going to do this side very differently. We're going to we're just going to pull everything up. And uh refigure that out. I hate to end up with all this junk in my inventory, but uh 
Not a lot that we can really do about it. That's going to lose power for a minute, but shouldn't be a big deal. The things I would do for the robots, like... Robots would make me a very happy person right now. Oh, there was a whole thing of just stone brick up here. That's pretty unfortunate. Well, that's also unfortunate that that just happened. It'll be fine. I'm not concerned about it. Let's just keep picking all this stuff up. All this wonderful, wonderful coal we don't actually need or want in our inventory. Okay. Um, these guys go here. Yup. And then... Here. Yep, okay. Um, gotta place all this stuff down again and then get the power lines down so that everything gets wonderful, glorious power and continue operating in a meaningful way. Obviously, uh, when we get beacons, I'm going to have to probably rework how these inserters go um, and the belts a little bit, but uh, we aren't really in a position where beacons are a big concern yet. I wonder where we were getting power from before and how much. Oh, I shut everything off with that. That would be, that is unwise. That there's only one. That there's only one connection to the power source. That's bad. That's real bad. Uh, that's not what I wanted at all. That This is our only connection for the entire like lower half of our base. Right there. That's it. That's insane. And that's not even like the only connection. So let's connect this across. Uh, we'll connect this up. Um... We will use some big electric poles and connect across here. There we go. Okay. We got a little bit of redundancy going on there, which is good. No sign of Bobby. I guess he's busy tonight. No, I got so much stuff in my inventory. Okay, we got to do something about. We got to do something about this. Um, let's come over here and let's drop this coal. Let's uh, shove this in here. Oh, I still have coal. I still have coal. I don't want it. Get it out. Um, and then we're gonna do this. And this, and this, not all of it. Okay, I should, I really gotta make like a junk chest at some point just to shove all this garbage in. 
All right, so um, it's all working again. That's a good thing. I guess we should work on on this stuff next. Um, yeah. How does okay? Let's let's see. How does this scale? Um, it's only it's a one. It's only one. So it's actually not that bad. Um, okay. So underground belts. Iron and transport belt. Splitters are iron, transport belt, and electronic circuits. So I think what we do here, since we've got some room, um, this will be our output. Um, and then let's see here. Um, iron and then assembly machine, assembly machine. And then this will be transport belt and then we will have how do I do I really want to do it this way yeah yeah I think I do um so wait wait hang on we gotta look at these again ah oh, it's, it's real similar um so that'll be transport belt this will be iron again and then we will go here and then here. What do these need? Okay, so these will actually need gear wheels. Um, which... Oh, it's a lot of gear wheels. Um, we'll, figure, we'll figure the gear wheels out then later when we get to that. Um, and then down here, it'll be... Electronic circuits, and then the output. So we got a lot of room, so I think we're going to... Um, yeah, we're going to cheat. That's not where I wanted to put you. Um, we're going to cheat this by doing this and that'll be here like so uh, we need to get oh didn't want to do that get rid of this uh, let's repair that Alrighty. Um, okay, so we've got that. It's kind of a ghetto setup, honestly. Um, and we need iron. And the iron needs to be roughly here. Here. Um... think that'll work let's grab this guy um and then let's bring the iron down or roughly we're not gonna actually connect it up yet so if we put this guy lined up with this one and only just enough room. That should work. Uh, 
Uh, we can bring this across to here. Okay, and then this guy will come straight across. Yep, all right, and then down and over like so. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think we can hook up the iron. Let that come on through. Yep, okay. Um, so we need to actually bring the electronic circuits down now. Um, all right, so underground belt to there. Um, and then we can just underground belt to there. And then we'll just bring this down. To here, I think. Grab another splitter. Goes there. And there we go. And then here. Yeah, let's do it. Um... Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we need what oh I didn't want to click that. Need to make one. Uh in 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 and then this is an output and an output. Um, input, input, uh, we're going to do, we're actually going to do two on this one and then input, 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 and outputs. Excellent. Power, power. And there we go. That is working. It's not fast, but these really probably don't necessarily need to be super fast. Yeah, I don't I don't think these need to be that fast anyways. So Okay. Next step. We're going to need, well, we're going to still need the electronic circuits, but now we're going to need iron gear wheels. Basically, where our iron is. Which is not necessarily going to be easy. Um, though, I am already seeing exactly how we're going to do it. So let's bring our iron. Well, actually, we're going to work this backwards, I think. So we're going to come to here. Um, then we're going to go. Can't quite get across there. So we're going to come to here and then across. And then... We're going to put a splitter here. Uh, we may have to use, well, actually we won't need that. Um, actually this works pretty much perfectly, I think. So this will turn and This is probably not 
actually necessary. Um, I think what we'll do is this will turn um, hmm, this way and come across like this. And then this one will turn this way and come across like this. Yep. And then this guy is going to come across like this. Um, we can go ahead and probably hook that one, hook that one up a while. And um, we can probably bring both of these down a little bit further a while. All right, let's go back. We got to backtrack just a little bit here. Um, bring that across. And bring this stuff down. Yep, okay. And then there. Ah, uh, that's not actually right. Um, we're gonna need one of these. Where is my splitter? There we go. Um, and then this is gonna go here. And then this will go like this. And this will go like this. Okay. So we're making we're making some progress here. All right, um, we need some more assembly machines, I think. That's not the assembly machines. Where are, they're over here. And that is the furnaces. Um, let's just grab half a stack or so. All right, and then so we're going to put um, one and then two and then one and two. So this guy's actually got to come out just a little bit further. Oh, I ran out. Um, right there. Okay, so... Right, um, grab these. Input, 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 input. Um, hmm. Hmm. Don't really like that. I just realized something a little bit unfortunate. And that is... Uh, there is no where to output from this one. Um, I think we have to move this up one. So we got to pick this stuff up. Um, bring this this way. Probably fine. Pick this up. And then this will have to go here. It's going to look a little weird and unruly because uh, it's no longer in line with the previous set of assembly machines. But uh, you can't you can't win them all aesthetically, unfortunately. Um At least when you're trying to do this in uh, a less wasteful sense, I would say. Here and then here. And then these will go like so. Um, 
down that way, and then we'll have to put... Uh, I'm out of belt again. God damn. All right, I'll just grab some more belt. Hopefully we can get away from this belt soon. Um, I don't really want to be w wasting red belt in here. Um, I only want to really convert this stuff all out once. All right, so output and an output, and then we're going to need inputs down here. And let's come up here. This is going to make red underground belt. Red underground belt and power. These are going to be even slower. Um... Actually, we can probably amp some of this up a little bit. Um, there's no real reason not to amp this up, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. And then these are going to be red splitters and red splitters. And we should probably do this as well. Okay, and then we're going to drop... I didn't want to make one. Drop that in there. And that's, uh, that's us getting started there. So we're actually in a fairly halfway decent place to go to um, the blue belts then. Um, well, um, once we get that unlocked, we'll do blues here. We'll do blues at the ends of all of these. And that'll just be like one big section of belts here that we don't actually need to, uh, bus for any reason. Um, we might be able to actually take the regular belts off the bus now entirely. Just like, I think we can probably take, um, the inserters off the bus. I don't actually know what else we would need the inserters for at this point. Um, I feel like we should actually probably put some of this stuff in chests temporarily. Uh, we're gonna limit this down though to like two stacks, I think. Um, Yeah, no way to power both of those. Yeah, I think I think that's probably for the best. That way we can just come down here and we can grab stuff as we see fit. Um, I think one of the main things we're going to want to do is probably almost definitely speed up the entire iron belt. Um, and I think we're going to work on that now. So let's head, let's head down this way and we're, we're going to grab, um, what is this? I, I still don't know what this chest is. I think it's just a random chest of stuff somebody just put here. And I don't think it was me. So I'm going to grab this stuff out of here. Um, uh, and I'm going to come down here and we're going to grab... All of the red belts we've got stocked up. It's only like 200, but 200 will do for the moment. Um, yeah, I definitely think we should probably ramp that up. Um, among other things. Yeah, let's, let's just ramp this all. Uh, let's, well, first off, let's go up here and we'll uh, put some of the stuff where it goes. There we go. Um, we can put... Why don't you have any ore? Oh, no, there it goes. That's weird. Never seen that before. Um, 
We can just take and put this stuff in here. You're facing the wrong way. That's why you don't have any orb. All right. Let's grab the red belts, and we're going to go like this. So I think that should probably help out a lot. Um, ideally. So I guess the other thing we're going to need to do here if we're going to do this whole thing is we're going to need to grab some of the red underground belts and some of the red splitters. So let's head down here to where we were building. We just set up all that stuff to be built at. Um, and let's grab some. Yeah, we're just, we're like killing basically all of our iron, I think. And the gear wheels are backed up because of it. Um... And we can probably ramp up, once we get this working right, we can probably ramp up the gear wheels too. This is kind of the stuff that I was hoping to avoid um, having to do. So uh, let's put some of this stuff on our hotbar so we don't have to keep getting in our inventory. Let's just walk through. Let's ride the iron belt down and swap out all of this stuff here. Just ride the iron train. Swapping out all the splitters. Um, that's not, that's not right. Whoops. Um, Now that's right. Uh, there. All right. And uh, swap that out. All right. Now we'll do, I guess we'll do underground belts. Stop that. Okay, that's kind of annoying actually there we go and there actually that was it um okay so now We do the main line, hopefully. Um, let's see, we can probably just do that and then that. And then just ride this baby down. I didn't want to put that there, but that's fine. Okay, so there's that. It's all moving along nicely. Um, so a ton of this is just kind of coming this way, huh? Oh, I see that where the problem one of the problem lies right there. So this is basically everything running now. Um probably means we need to ramp up production 
And if we're going to consume, continually consume at this rate, um, I think, I mean, we're basically only feeding enough iron here to, I don't know, not even make one of these work. Um, so ideally, we probably need to build a copy of this here, move this stuff back probably quite a ways. Um, we could probably redirect this coal to make this keep working. Actually, we probably don't even need the coal anymore now that we have electric furnaces. So there's that. So we should probably do that. Um, Cause we're, we're really kind of slow. Um, and I don't think, yeah, we're not really towards, well, we're not really in a position where we can do like beacons or anything like that at the moment. Um, yeah, and we're just using a ton of gear wheels here to produce um, these belts and things. Which is fine. I mean, once this stuff's kind of backed up, it won't matter nearly as much. Um, it's just if we're going to be grabbing stuff out of here on a fairly consistent basis, um, it will matter eventually. It just it just probably doesn't matter right this second. Um, yeah, so... Let's, um, I don't know what I, oh, what the, what the heck happened over here? Something got messed up. Weird. How did I never notice that before? I mean, our steel's backed up, so, I mean, that's, that's a good thing, I guess. We're actually producing, you know, more steel than we are iron, which probably isn't ideal, really. Um, so, as much as I don't want to move this stuff, let's turn that off. And let's uh let's just shut all these down. And we're gonna move this stuff. Oh, I I didn't want to do I didn't want to do that. Um pick this up, pick this up. Take this and this and this and this. And then we're just going to walk basically. Ugh, all this ore is going to be just kind of junk. But we're going to walk down here. Uh, we're going to place not there, but there. Place that down. Um, we're going to unhook that and then we're going to pick up all this stone and all these belts we don't need anymore. Okay, well, this is just taking a while. It's going to take even longer because we're going to have to shuttle all that stuff out of those chests over here. Is 
which I'm not, you know, particularly looking forward to doing. Okay, so input, 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 uh, output, out, output. Here, 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 here. Um, this guy. This guy. And um, this guy. And one steel chest, and I'll just put this other one here. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stone. Probably just shove it away somewhere where we don't ever want to touch it again. Um, yeah, let's 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 go do that. <laughs> uh, I can go in here. Uh, copper ore, iron ore. Probably should have ditched that coal while I was in there, too. Because um, we're just going to make all this go away. Yeah. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to pick all this up, too. Uh, let's not... Pick up the iron. I ah, oh, god damn it! I don't. I don't want to pick up the fine. Pick up the damn iron. I didn't want it, but I did. I picked it up. Okay. Um, coal. Coal. There we go. Okay. Um. We need to move this stuff. Well, don't technically need to move it, but we're going to move it. We could just make it go away, but I would hate to make um, all that wall go away. That's not something that I really want to do. Um, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to pick it up and move it. Inventory is full of junk that I do not want, especially these barrels. I, I really don't want the barrels. And uh, how many trips is this going to take us? Uh, probably three. Roughly. If I had to, if I had to hazard a guess based off of trip one, I would guess three. Three. I'm walking into a rock because I'm staring at the damn camera. I really wish... Oh, sliding down in the chair. It's a bad habit. Um, I really wish I knew why the camera looked so orange. That's weird. Real weird. Okay. We're, we're, making, we're making some progress here. Um, hey, look at that. Three trips. What did I tell you? Three. Three. Oh, saving. Why you gotta do this to me, saving? I guess I could turn down the save frequency, but uh, that seems like a bad idea. Okay, this rock that I keep walking into while I'm not looking at the screen has got to go away. There we go. Now we can bring this down here and turn this all back on. Seven wall just in our inventory, huh? Nope. Denied. Um, I guess here, here, and here. And then this is making wall. 
Yep. Okay, we're good. It's all set up. Now, oh, that, mm, we're going to make this rock go away. Can you tell I hate the rocks in this game? I hate the rocks in this game, if you couldn't tell. Okay, we got to pick this stuff up. Um, we got to move this all up. Like, up here, out of the way. Yeah. There. And then we can just come back through. Pick up these ones that are possibly in the way. Probably in the way. Okay, so. Um, we're going to hold off on the belts for the moment. Yeah, just like that, and then it'll be one space, and then the belt coming down this way. And then we grab this guy, and it'll be space, and then this. Yep. Um, and we're still going to, I think it this point oh no no we've got fast belt there too so this will need to be fast belt to match it um and we can probably actually just I don't have one on my in ah, blah blah blah. I don't have one in my inventory, uh, so we're gonna have to make a splitter here. Um, it's gonna take a second. Okay, um, and we can probably just put this guy here. Yeah, that'll that'll work. We're gonna run out of belt. Probably. Oh, that's 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 a real it's a royal bitch. And then there. Um okay, so how is this gonna work? Um Can we place it from this side? We can. So here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Uh, here, here, here. This is where things are going to start to get stressful on our power. Um, pretty stressful, at least. Um, we've got everything backed up. The only thing that's just not backing up right now are the gear wheels. Um, but we're also, you know, we're not doing any research. We haven't pulled anything out of... This is basically the system at rest at the moment because there is, uh, nothing going on. Um, well, nothing really being produced on the other end of the system. The gear wheels are just working to catch up now and they literally just caught up. Um... Which is fine. It doesn't have to be perfect every time here. So this is going to go here. Um, oh, no. We're still waiting on these belts. Uh, okay. So this, 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 and this, this, and this. And then we're just going to come down... Here, and then here, and then across. And here, here. And we're out. All right, well, let's walk on the fast belt here. Let's 
kind of like a little highway. Um, I kind of want to ditch this regular belt out of my inventory now, but uh, I'm sure we're going to use it at some point. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't really know. Uh, we should build. I should build some more of those radar things. It's kind of cool. Um, okay, so here, and then here. I think that works just fine. Okay, let's um, let's get to it. Just uh, laying out the rest of the inserters here. Um, in this instance, they're not really inserters. They're removing it from objects. Um, power lines. Here. 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 And here. And then here. 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 And here. And that'll actually probably back up fairly quickly here now. Probably. Yep. Very quickly. Um, but again, this will give us the opportunity here to expand some of this stuff out. Um, some of these lines we can honestly probably speed up. Um... What do I need to make this happen? Uh, we need some gear wheels and some electronic circuits, which I think I just need some copper for. Oh no, I'm short some iron as well. Um, yeah, give me one of those. And what we'll do is we will come here. That's the wrong way. Bring this up to here. Grab this guy. And we'll grab this guy. And like that. That'll hopefully mean that these guys can all work a little bit faster. Um, we might even want to just uh, take it the whole way up and around the corner. Yeah, I think so. I think that, that definitely works. Um, this is, you know, kind of one of the downsides to having longer setups, like even like this uh, copper wire is. Um, it's because these only output onto one side of the belt. So you reach a point where um, no matter how fast the belt is moving, you're only actually getting like 50% out of it. So honestly, on something as long as, um, as long as this setup, somewhere in the middle, we probably should take and actually do what we're doing down here instead um, and actually, well, not do that, but actually just go ahead and already put the stuff onto two sides of the belt kind of a thing. But um, yeah, we can't really, we don't really need to do that right now because everything is backed up. Yeah. Um got so much more we can do here. I'm just not really sure what to do, so to speak. Um, we actually need to make more electric furnaces. Um, so... I think what we are short on for that are red circuits here. So let's put some more red circuits in here. Um, how much? We got a lot of that left. Uh, let's go back up to where all of those random bricks were and uh, grab all of those and put them 
down there. Um, I'm actually going to, while we're, we're doing some random stuff, I'm actually going to get rid of these barrels out of my inventory because I don't really want them in my inventory anymore. Um, yeah, we should also, uh, we should also probably look at our power here. Okay, so we're actually at about, with all of those furnaces, we're at about 50%. If we up the furnace count even more, we're probably going to be even higher. Where is this starting to back? It's not really backing up, is it? No, not really. Um, but that's fine. Uh, these all have... I mean, this all has barrels now. This is all entirely full of barrels now, which is fantastic. I wasn't actually sure that was going to happen. Um, so that actually means we are operating at full capacity now, I think. Um, well, basically full capacity. We obviously don't have... Um, we're not fully backed up like here yet but uh once we get there and we're kind of starting to get close um once we get there we'll be able to turn off the barrel manufacturing um for good and we should be able to just run off of the amount of barrels we have in the system and then it becomes a, a closed loop um this is like a super super complicated setup i think we talked about this the last stream um for this but uh, i wanted to play with the train some some more than i have in the let's play series um so it's it's fun it's something interesting to do if we can walk down here no nope, i can't i'm not fast enough to say i was gonna say if we can walk down there we could ride the train around um, so another thing we should do is we should probably start producing lubricant, I would think. Um, sulfuric acid is starting to fill up. Our heavy oil has, has filled up. Um, so yeah, this production has actually stopped. Um, we needed, what did we need? Oh, we needed a research. Um, we need blue. We need 75 blue science packs. So for that, we need red circuits. And uh, smart inserters, steel, and batteries. Okay, so we probably actually have enough stuff to get this going. Uh, so we should, probably should. Um, it's going to be super important to our way of life, so to speak. Uh, let's come up here. We should have smart inserters here. We're going to grab a hundred of those. We need like 75 batteries uh, shouldn't be that hard okay so that should be plenty of batteries um we just needed some more steel i don't want the plastic i don't i don't want it i don't just give me the steel okay let's just make all these oh Uh, I guess it's making 12 smart inserters. Whoops. Oh, well. Uh, let's just let that go. Um, yeah, we're not actually making any more plastic at this point. Because uh, everything is backed up and we need to get the conversion set up going. Which is kind of what all this space is for down here. Uh, we'll basically convert heavy and light oil into petroleum gas. Actually, this is probably why we're backing up even more. Um, because the 
oil is no longer refining. Um, right, so we just got to wait for this to get done. We can kind of just... Um, I'm just going to put down a belt for the time being. Right here. We'll actually mass produce um, these later off of the red circuits. Um, we're not really in a... I don't think we're really in a good enough position as far as red circuits go at the moment to... Well, we're definitely not with because the plastic is off um, to mass produce blue circuits yet, but soon, ideally. Um, I am out of power lines, which is fine. These blue circuits are taking forever, so we're just going to walk down here and we're going to get these power lines. Hopefully. Um, where are they at? They're over here. All right. Let's, uh, let's grab some of these. Oh, let's see here. What, what is that message? Thanks for the follow winning prism. Um, thanks for coming by and watching the stream. Assuming you're actually here. Oh, yep, there you are. You're gonna you're gonna see I see your chat message. You're gonna hear me say that before I <laughs> before I actually saw your chat message. Um that's what I was looking at my phone for. Um alright, so blue science packs are building slowly. I walked past our labs here. It's uh Whoops. Um, all right, let's 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 shove down one of these guys on this side temporarily. And we're going to put... Oh, really? Okay, that's fine. We'll just put, put that there. Um, we don't actually have blue science packs yet. Let's just replace that with one of these. Now that has power, and um, we're going to research this one. We don't, like I said, we don't really have any, hardly any blue science packs here to use, but we'll put the ones that are finished down and in, um, in there for the moment while these produce very slowly. Um, that'll go a lot faster once we get these up and running, but for the moment, uh, we're just going to have to do this manually and it's just going to take a while because. Oh, you didn't miss much. Just working on our Factorio base. Um, and mostly just waiting on blue science packs so we can do this research. Um, this stuff is taking a while. Because the manufactured time on them is 12 seconds a piece, which is a lot. Um, all right, so oh, what to do while we wait for that? Uh, I'm not particularly sure because I'm not entirely sure what we really need to do to get ready for um, the next stage of production. Um... Yeah, we, uh, we've got all this junk in our inventory. We don't really need any more. Um, let's shove these steel furnaces in here. We don't really need those. Um, I'm just going to shove that in there. We don't really need this wood. I don't really want the iron chest either. Um, what else is here that we don't need? Definitely don't want the small electric poles. Any of those. They're all over our inventory. I missed 10 barrels. Um, let's go shove these 10 barrels somewhere. So that they get used. Uh, we'll probably just come up here to the last of the train stops. And just drop them off in here. 
really don't need to be carrying those around with us. Um, all right, well, let's, uh, let's head down this way. Mm, it's kind of all... We want to upgrade this whole line at some point to the faster belt. We could do that now. I would need to go get some fast splitters. Why don't we go get some fast splitters and I guess probably some underground belt. And then we can work on that. Yeah, so you can see our problem here. Is that so much of this stuff just isn't able to do anything. Um, yeah, I think if we take this guy... Move him up this way, one. And then we do like this, this, and then this. No, uh, no, this, and this. I think that'll actually be better. And I can already tell it is better. Um, while we're at it, let's just uh, come through here and swap these all out. For better inserters. Yeah, that's, that's way, that's way better. Um... How many? Oh, yeah, that was all. Okay, that's fine. Um, we were coming down here for some fast splitters and things. Um, we've got we probably have plenty of belt, but I'll I'll grab two more stacks just in case. Let's grab half a stack of these and half a stack of these. All right, let's head back up this way. We'll need to upgrade all of this stuff then to electric furnaces. Um, at which point we'll probably have to upgrade our power even more. And I may just do the power ahead of time. Yeah, look at look at how how this is all catching up. Um, so this is probably a good choice for us. Let's grab these. This guy. I may even need to ramp up um, production on copper. Should be easy enough. There should be plenty of copper around that we can that we can use. Okay, so we did that. Now we need to come up here. We'll just do this. That's not right. This way. Here, 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 and here. Oh, missed one. Down we go. Um, I think our production is probably not fast enough. At least probably not quite fast enough. But we're going to upgrade the whole thing and then we'll see from there. Um, Obviously, uh, the actual copper itself isn't being consumed quite uh, that quickly, um, which is actually good. We're not 
consuming the copper nearly as fast as we consume the iron. But we do consume it fairly quickly. We're nowhere near to the point where we need to start using the secondary lines for any of this stuff yet. So that's also a good thing. Um, yeah. What do you mean two belts and a splitter? Um, are you talking about right here? Um, it does work, actually. It basically combines them. Um, so how the splitters work is that it takes from each side and then puts on each side, I believe. Um, so by plugging two belts into a splitter like that, it actually takes from both sides and then puts them on both sides um, on the output. So like it'll alternate. So like this will go here and here. And then like if you put this one in, it'll go here and here and it'll just do both. Um, it's not like a straight pass through. It's kind of weird. Or wait for the copper. Oh, for the copper cable. Um. Oh yeah, this probably isn't actually necessary now. Um, we can probably get rid of that. Yeah, that that probably isn't necessary. Might want to put a traditional load balancer in here. Um just in case but actually I, I think I will put a traditional load balancer here so that would be um, this and then get rid of this guy and go here 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 I'm gonna just pick some of that up to clear it there we go that should work then Yeah, yeah, I see, I see what you what, what you were talking about. Um, chat delay, obviously. Um, I'm assuming this is where you were talking about, at least. Um, that should work a lot better than how it was before. I should go put these blue science packs up here. For this guy. There we go. I'm not really sure. Not really sure what you mean. Um, so, like, re in reality, for the copper cable here, like this setup is way too long to be functional um, by any way, shape, or form. Especially for the speed that even this red belt moves at. Um, probably even with like the blue belt, it should be like half the length. Um, still with this thing, putting the, the stuff on both sides of the belt, but, um, uh, we're just kind of on it. Like this is a very temporary setup. We're going to, we're going to redo, um, this entire, uh, green circuit production line in the future. Um, we just wanted to get enough of them being produced to kind of handle some red circuits for the time being so that we could get some other things going. Like um, uh, this advanced oil processing, which I'm I'm working on right now, trying to get research so we can actually set that up. Um, obviously, some of this stuff is not like the most ideal uh, setup you could possibly do. There's probably much better setups for copper cable and green circuits and red circuits. In fact, I actually have. Um, what I consider to be a better setup in um, yeah, I actually have like a, a a better setup designed in uh, the let's play I've recorded on the YouTube channel. but um, in reality, what we'll probably do is we'll probably do um, smaller sections of of um it's like I think it's like three 
machines building copper cable for every two building electronic circuits. And we'll probably just kind of figure out a way um, to design that so that we have uh, when we actually make this into a much larger setup. Um, so it's all it's literally just three building and sending directly to the two um, that are consuming from it instead of putting onto a belt and then all of these having to pull from the same type of belt. It'll be a very different setup. It won't be it won't be linear like this. It'll probably it'll probably be built somewhere over here. Um, actually, maybe even further out because it doesn't really matter. We've got all the space in the world on this map. Um, Oh, and uh, well, I guess you're you're since you're probably new to the stream and you probably didn't see Tuesday's stream where we talked about this. We are kind of playing. This is a multiplayer. Um, Bobby's not here today, but I'm continuing to play. Um, uh, we are kind of on like an easy world. Basically, um, there's only water in the spawning area. Um, it's basically like huge starting area. You can start to see some aliens popping up now. Um, but the aliens are set to, you have to attack them first. Um, just because this is, you know, this is the first, uh, kind of world we're playing on a, on a stream here. And, uh, Bobby was fairly new to the game when we started this world. We, uh, not Tuesday. Uh, it was Monday, I think, uh, if you were here. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a fairly, Bobby's fairly new to the game. So we were kind of going easy, um, in the let's play. I don't think I played like this, if I remember correctly. Um, I, I'm probably not remembering correctly, but I'm already pretty far, like 60 episodes into that let's play. So anyways, um, we're, we'll have to start building walls soon because we'll probably need some stuff from the aliens. So we'll build walls and turrets soon. But I think the goal is to get um, laser turrets in production first before we even think about attack, attacking the aliens. So we'll get there eventually. And then we'll probably get overrun because we're waiting so long to attack the aliens that there's just going to be tons of them. Um... Our research is probably almost done. Um, check these guys on here. We're still, we got like 20 more to go, but I think that probably will do it. I, I, I think at least. Um, we'll see, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, that might do it. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna need. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at research. Is almost done. Let's take a look at this. Um, so that is three water, four heavy oil. So this consume okay, and then that'll make a light oil. So that can make us light oil, and then three light oil. So we basically need slightly more than twice as many um, for heavy, uh, twice as many light oil ones as heavy oil ones. Um, we obviously don't want to consume all of the heavy oil or all of the light oil because we will need to make uh, lubricant, which is here, and that's made out of heavy oil. But um, So what we're going to need, I think we'll probably, we'll, we'll probably start with um, maybe three for heavy oil and then seven for light oil. So we're going to need... Chemical plants. Um, I think this is done in a chemical plant. Um, that looks like a chemical plant. Okay, so we're going to need 13, roughly 13 chemical plants. Which sounds like a lot, because it, it, it is. 
Um, so we're going to need iron gear wheels. Man, I got so much belt in my inventory that I really don't want in my inventory. Uh, where's the chest I can dump this stuff in? Here we go. I'll, I'll keep one stack of regular. Let's grab this iron gear wheel out of here. Um, so we're going to need that. We're going to need electronic circuits. We're going to need steel. And we're going to need pipe. I have a bunch of pipe. I don't know if we're going to need more pipe than that. Um, let's just grab some steel here a while. Uh, it probably wasn't enough, but uh, it's a good start now. Uh, electronic circuits. Grab some here. Okay, yeah, that's that's plenty. Let's just build all of those. Um, oh, it's going to be a minute. I forgot. We were building uh, blue science packs. Which are kind of holding us up. Um, let's go in here and let's, let's see what we got in the way of... Uh, let's go ahead and get explosives going. And uh, we'll put these in here. We don't need them just now, but uh, we may eventually. Well, we will eventually. Um, and then what we'll do is we will, wherever we um, produce the blue science packs, they will just go on the other side of this belt with the... Well, no, they won't go on the belt with the green ones. Um, goes into the blue ones again. I guess they're going to have to get their own belt. Or we could, um, I could put them on the belt with the green ones and then stop this here and then use smart inserters to pull off the green ones and the blue ones onto separate belts. That's probably the better idea. So we're not wasting a whole nother line of belt just for, um, a handful of blue science packs. Let's just go ahead and put those in there. And we are approaching um, time for our chemical plants. So we're going to do three and then seven. Um, these are all going to need water. Uh, we have water around here. We'll just have to try and run it somewhere. We may run it across the bottom and then up. Okay, so we're just going to do something like this. Um, we're going to leave, I think we're going to leave two spaces on, yeah, something like that. And then directly across, it'll be, actually, yeah, that should be fine. Um, we'll go those. Um, so now if we program this for heavy oil cracking, that should be right. And then these will actually have to get rotated the other way around. Um, okay, so now we need to get heavy oil. This is where things get uh, are going to get a little bit tricky. Um, especially tricky because we are out of pipe. So I should go get some more pipe. All right. That is... Like, on the other side of our base. Well, relatively speaking. Our base is actually fairly large because of the train, but, um... Shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, uh, what do we want? Here, pipe. Pipe? I walked past the pipe. Here we go. Let's just grab some pipe. We probably didn't need that much pipe. Uh, let's put some of this back. Let's just take two stacks and make sure that we got enough of the underground pipe. Uh, we'll do a little bit more research. Um, yeah, we can do construction robots now. I would very much like construction robots. They are going to make the world a lot easier. Um, yeah, I'd probably do it with one space, but um, a part of what we're doing here... Um, 
because we have so much room to work, um, we're, we're kind of making our lives a little bit easier um, by leaving extra space around things because it's there's just a ton of room because of how we have the water in just like the central area. We don't have to do things super compact. Um, and it actually, it, it just kind of makes your life, your lives a little bit easier, especially in, uh, in and around these like refinery stuff where all these pipes are. Um, this music is actually just off of my computer. Um, it's monster cat. Um, they're actually really friendly with uh, streamers and 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 their music service. So, um, but I like their music. So, that's uh, that's where I'm I'm getting it from. So let's unhook that, and then we'll just put uh, these guys here, and then we'll just come along and we'll put on these ones. This should give us plenty of room to expand this in the future. Um, and plenty of room to, well, just move around, really, ideally. Uh, that should be fine. There's still room to get, well, there won't be, well, no, 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 there will be room to get through. Um, okay, so we got to get water over here. Um, did, actually, these all finished. They did. Okay, so we should put these down. Um, so we're going to do... Seven, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, we should definitely put these down. All right, so this is going to be um, like this. And then that doesn't make sense to do it like that, does it? You won't be able to walk through here. Do I really care that you won't be able to walk through here? Uh, I'm thinking not. Let's go ahead and uh, connect these pipes up. Like so. Um, hmm, like that's a, like that's a huge waste, but you can still get through. So I think we're just going to do that. Um, yeah, it's not, I mean, it's not that big of a waste. Um, and then this will need this other side, the output here will need to connect up to, um, the petroleum gas. Oh, auto save. So here, there, and then there. Like so. Uh, yeah, I can turn the music up just a little bit. Um, Yeah, it's 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 definitely a big waste, but um, being able to walk around this stuff is definitely incredibly important. Like, you get this stuff down, and then you find you you have to change some change something later, and then you just can't get in there to do it without tearing up a whole bunch of pipes. It's just it's just incredibly obnoxious. Um, okay, so we got to get water over here. Um. Yeah, let's, uh, where, where are we at? Um, let's bring the water from down here, I think. Because all of these need water. Um, ooh, I just realized something. There's gonna be enough room to get the squeeze the water in here. Yeah, there there will be. There will be. Okay. Um, okay. So we're gonna bring the water across the bottom next to um whatever that gas is. I can't remember. 
sulfuric acid, I think. Where the heck is the water? Oh, here's the water. Okay, so we're just gonna connect this up and we're gonna bring it to here, I think. Yeah. And then like that. And then we gotta just bring this way down this way. Whoop. There. There. And then, oh no, we gotta go one more. Okay, let's just stop at that just a second. Um, and we need to do this. So this is gonna come down here and then across. Oh, nope, that was the wrong button. Across to there, yep. Yeah. All right. So that's water in its rightful place. Um, so then we just do this. Yep, okay. And then this. Oh, in the way. Awesome. Uh, okay, awesome. Hooked up. What do you mean hold the click on the pipes? Um, I'm not I'm not really sure uh, what you mean by that. Um, all right, we got to bring the water over here now. Um, we may have to move some of this later if we have to expand this a bit more, but I kind of doubt we will need to expand it. Oh, oh, actually, okay, I know what you mean. Yeah, that would be... Um, that would be nice. That would be very nice. Okay, so water's hooked up. Um, and we just have to power this mess. Let's uh, go ahead and place these down. Um, just do that, I guess. Um, we'll have to actually connect that up to the power. Um up there, I guess, probably the best place to do that. We can kind of spread these out a bit. Should have some big power lines here that we can just kind of do that. And now that all has power, and then we want to do this one. Uh, we'll have to rotate those. There we go. Okay, this should all be operating now, which is good. Um, so that should mean this should start, everything should start turning back on, which is excellent. Um, and eventually that stuff will actually back up again which we want it to do. Um, once that backs up again, well, it'll back up again once um, our plastic backs up again and our sulfuric acid is full. Do I have the right side screwed up? Um, what do you mean? Like, um, before I rotated these? Is that what you meant? Otherwise, I think it's working. 
It seems to be working. Yeah, it's working. So, here's that. Um, yeah. So, we've got that going, which means we've got the plastic going again. Mmm, thanks. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that's what you meant. Um... Yeah, okay. So, kind of this is a mess. I should probably bring all these down and line them up again at some point. Um, we're not really consuming a ton at the moment. Uh, we'll have to look into mass producing some stuff then. Um, oh, we've got robots now. Um, let's Let's take a look at that. What do we need to do to get some robots going here? Okay, so robo ports are advanced circuits, um, iron and steel, a lot of them. Um, I don't know, where are the construction ro oh, they're the construction robots. So those are, a lot of stuff. Flying robot frames, which are going to be engine units. Um, and then engine units are going... Well, it's going to be electric engine units. And those are going to be engine units. And that's... that's, that's This is just... Actually is just a ton of stuff. For all of this. Um, we don't really actually have lubricant going, though. So we should probably get that up and running. Um... Yeah, that, that should actually be easy enough. Um, we've got seven of these left over. I probably shouldn't try and walk through the steel production facilities. Um, that seems like a kind of a dumb idea. Um, we're going to do this down here. Um, next to this whole setup because I want to leave room to expand that if we need to later. Um, so we're just going to go... Yeah, we're just going to go like this. Um, and I don't actually think we need any spaces. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, I think five is probably fine. Um, okay, so this is literally just an input and an output. Um, lubricant. There we go. Um, and then I th think I just want to... Actually, I don't think it matters uh, which way we go here. So, uh, these we don't actually need to walk between because we didn't leave a room to walk between. So, I'm just going to do the pipe like this. Uh, we will have to run that somewhere. Um, and we can actually just uh, slide that in there. Okay, so now we need to bring this guy across. So somewhere in about there. Um... There we go. So that should be capable of producing lubricant now. And uh, we're going to run out of underground belts. Um, that's not in the right place. There. And then across we go. Like... So, uh, probably run out before we get where we're going. Almost definitely. Which is fine. Let's go back and get some more pipe. Uh, or, I should say, underground pipe. Uh, we should make tanks, too. Um, steel and iron 
how many tanks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tanks. Uh, I don't have any tanks on me. We've got steel. Just really need the iron. Plastic is running along smoothly and starting to back up. Wow, which is ideal. Don't pick up the gear wheels itself. 10. Ah, uh, we'll just make 11. It's fine. Um, and then we'll come down here and we'll get the pipe we need. Yeah, oh, this, this game is a ton of work, man. Um, but... Um, it's fun. I, I enjoy it a lot. Uh, this is the, this is technically my second playthrough. The one I'm, I'm doing for the Let's Plays is still ongoing, but it, it's actually at a much more advanced point than this is, um, and I'm doing things a lot differently this time, which is actually keeping the game fun. The replayability is, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. Actually, I think I like the tr the trains are are one of uh, probably one of the more fun components of of the game. I, I enjoy the trains quite a bit. I haven't done any like real advanced uh, train work with like s switching of tracks and things like that, but. Okay. Um. This will just come to the other side of this guy. Well, that doesn't actually work. Um, so here. Uh, we should put down these tanks so I actually line this up properly. Um, and we were leaving one, two, three. I think that was four spaces. So one, two, three, four. Five? Uh, five doesn't really work with, it'll be four. Hopefully uh, it's fine. <laughs> um, so like that and then like this. And then this goes here. Okay. I really don't like how you have to rotate um, these tanks to make them hook up. I feel like you should just be able to place them down next to each other so they hook up to each other normally. It just it, it seems weird to me. Like, I kind of get why they went for that, but at the same time... Seems needlessly compli uh, complicated. All right, so we got that going now, too. Yeah, excellent. That should fill up quickly. Um, yeah, that, that should definitely fill up quickly. Um, but I've been going at this for a while, so I think we're probably going to call it there for tonight. Um... Thanks for watching. Um, make sure to uh, let's, uh, let me let me just pause the game here a second. Um, so yeah, thanks thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the the YouTube channel. That's uh, youtubecom slash films for some more stuff. Uh, I, I'll post I post the the VODs of these up there uh, later. Um, so. Yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you uh, next time, hopefully. Uh, Tuesday, uh, Mondays and Thursdays, and maybe the weekends. Um, that's that's the tentative schedule, uh, just when I have time, mostly. Uh, but definitely Mondays and Thursdays. Um, not going to always be Factorio. Um, Factorio, we'll do some more Factorio next week. Uh, probably some Elite Dangerous, too. So, thanks for watching. Bye.